Monday. I know it's hard to feel that way when you're looking outside and it's clouds and gray. Didn't help my cold this morning, I know. It's just been kind of a yucky start to the week, but we are gonna make it so much fun. We're working out, we're eating right, we're talking plumbing issues. It's gonna be a great show, we've got your back. This is Atlanta and Company, I'm Christine Pilara, so great to be with you. So have you ever looked at that leaky pipe or that clogged drain and thought, you know what, I can fix this, I got that. We'll stop right there. It's actually time to call the professionals, more specifically Sundial Plumbing. They're a fully credited and Consumer's Choice Award winning institution that can provide the best plumbing help around and it can prevent you from making a costly mistake. Here to tell us much more about it is president of Sundial Plumbing, Mitzi Moore. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Christina, for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it is definitely a pleasure. Welcome to the show. This is your first time and, you know, we're excited to hear about this because this is something that we all need but you're right sometimes well I'll speak for my own husband he'll try to take matters into his own hands and then that could be disastrous so <laughs> before you get into some common mistakes that we all make tell us more about Sundial Plumbing. Well thank you on behalf of the team at Sundial it's a pleasure to be here on your show. We are a local full service plumbing company we do um, commercial and residential service and repair, commercial, and uh, remodel as well. Fantastic, and I know, Mitzi, for me as a consumer, I know I like to go online, check out Distinctions Awards, and Consumer's Choice has recognized you as a winner for several years. Tell us more about that. We are very honored to be recognized for the fourth consecutive year for Consumer Choice Awards, and Consumer Choice Awards is special because it is the consumer's choice. Sure. This is not an award that we apply for or we pay for or we can do anything. It has to be nominated and voted for by the consumers of the greater Atlanta area. It's validated by a third party independent company. And so it's a good source for custom, for businesses and it's a source that I use myself because I know it's a lot of businesses that care about consumers. Right, and I think the key thing you said there is you're not paying for it. No. You truly are getting that endorsement from the consumers. And tell me more about certifications that are required to work on plumbing systems. Not everybody can just say, sure, I know how to do this, I'm a plumber. It, it takes those certifications that your company has. It does. Um, plumbing is a little different than any other construction trade in that each person has to have a plumbing license uh, by the state of Georgia, which is different than electrical or conditioned air or low voltage. The other uh, part that's different is that that's the only trade not taught in schools today. Really? So it's 100% apprentice, and that is expensive for businesses and consumers both. And talk to me about your company specifically, how you got started in your role as president. Uh, well, my, my role actually started really in the, the, the pathway in the 1940s with my great-grandfather. Mm -hmm. uh, my family were farmers in Harrelson County, and um, my great-grandfather died suddenly, and so the three oldest sons went to Atlanta to learn the new trade of plumbing mm -hmm. in the 20s. And by 1940, the two oldest brothers were plumbers, and uh, World War II came, so they found themselves in the naval shipyard of, in Charleston, South Carolina. And after the war, they were putting uh, plumbing in great warships. Fantastic. And so after, um, after the World War II, they came back and they installed plumbing in the homes in North Georgia. And my father was a young boy and worked with my grandfather and re still remembers the magic of just turning a knob and having clean water exactly. that the old farmers. So he started a plumbing business and after working at Lockheed. And then in 19, um, the early 90s, I joined him. And in 2009, I bought the business. Well, fantastic. It's in the blood. That's it wonderful. Is. And I want to make sure we have time for all these common mistakes that people make when they're trying to fix things on their own. So let's go over them. So our first most common mistake, what would that be? Well, that would be um, not paying attention to your plumbing. Probably the most important thing that you can do is to pay attention to notice if there are leaks or if something isn't right. Because a lot of the, the property damage that we see is comes from avoiding or, or waiting. Mm -hmm. um, notice the age of your water heater. The trade magazines say that they last uh, nine to 12 years and most water heaters do. Okay. Occasionally we, re we replace them that are older. But if a toilet is loose, it, it, can, uh, it, it starts as maybe a small repair, but it can be very expensive right. if it leaks into the subfloor. Uh, one of the other mistakes that I see that people make 
is not allocating a budget for plumbing. Yes, because true. Because people pay their mortgage and they um, forget that it's not if, it's when, that plumbing will need to be updated and maintained and that, that repairs are needed and to be proactive with the repairs. Right. You know, we should do that with every sort of issue that might arise in the house, but it's a good reminder. Definitely make that, uh, that line item for plumbing. And talk about the technology, how you incorporate it now um, with your company. We use technology all the time. We embrace technology because it helps us to deliver more value to customers. And it starts from the beginning from a phone call. We have a phone system that will identify the customer and the address and the phone number so that it makes the, the experience more pleasant. There's less exchange of information. Also, whenever we come out, we can email you a video introduction of the, tech, of the technician so you can see who will be oh, at the other side terrific. of the door. And we take pictures before, during, and after of the plumbing, and that we archive that. It helps us to serve you better in the future. We also use FaceTime with engineers, with manufacturers companies. Nice. And then we do invoicing electronically as well. That's terrific. And let's talk about how you know we potentially might see some weather. I know the north is definitely getting hit. How do you handle, how are you prepared for when incremental weather strikes? What do you do? Well, we always recommend to customers to winterize their plumbing, and probably the most common um, place where we see leaks are hose bibs or garden hose spigots. Right. And but we are prepared. We have an emergency plan that we enact because we have a lot of times four to six times our call volume. I bet. And when, but it usually takes the temperatures getting below freezing for three days and nights. Right. And the uh, and so we're prepared for that. With Excellent. The, well, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure meeting you. And I know you have a great uh, special for Atlanta and Company viewers. We do. We have a special. We have a no cost, no obligation <laughs> estimate. We send a certified technician out to your home to take a look at it and to um, review everything and see if you have any needs, and we're happy to do that for you. Thank so, you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And it's a pleasure. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks. If you would like to contact Sundial Plumbing, please give them a call. Take advantage of that free estimate. It's 770-427-1998 or log on to sundialplumbing.com. And this segment was paid for by Consumer's Choice Award.